Hey guys, I'm Andrew. And I'm Max, and this is Riley. Which is our soon to be new home on wheels. Uh, it's a 2011 Land Rover Defender 110. Which is soon going to double for our bathroom, our kitchen, our living room, and everything else in between. Just a complete home in a very <laughs> small box. In a very small box. <laughs> So yeah. Andrew's going to talk you through the initial plans that we have. At the moment we have some very fluid plans. Um, Nothing concrete <laughs> at all. Absolutely not. Um, but we've got a rough vision. So Andrew's going to talk you through what that looks like and then we'll kind of take it from there. <laughs> You're probably thinking why are we converting this to be our full time home. We were travelling up to Byron on one of our trips. Yep. And we had the idea to do van life full time because I am self-employed as is Andy and we thought why don't we just work on the road because mm -hmm. we can. If we got the option to we thought why not give it a go. <laughs> I mean we, we were driving up there just thinking about how good life on the road really Reminiscing is. Reminiscing life. And... Pretty much. Yep. <laughs> um, and then we almost it just sparked an idea in us of like how how could we do this more often? Is it possible to do it full time? Um, and then from there, the idea has just been growing in our minds, and uh, yeah. here we are. Why did we buy a Defender in the first place? Over to you, Andy. <laughs> yes. Um, so we were tossing up between a Defender and a Troopy. Now, there's obviously a lot of pros to going for a Troopy. You get more storage and more space. Um, more space. The way the back doors open, obviously, you can utilize a lot more space because in Defenders, you have a big chunk that basically prevents you from doing pull out draws or anything like that. Are you sure um, that you want to go for the Defender now that we're like maybe we saying swap all these it. things on? <laughs> um, so we have decided obviously in a Defender, yes. uh, we've decided to go for that, um, challenge ourselves, do something a bit different. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then kind of see see what happens. Will yeah. we regret that? Probably. <laughs> we, we, we might. Yes. <laughs> we have done a lot of camping and a lot of roadies before when we were in New Zealand, where we're originally from. Mm. If you haven't heard from our Kiwi accents, yes. definitely not Aussies. <laughs> haven't lost it to Australians yet. I've had a couple of Ford Rangers back there, uh, but they were only kind of set up four weekends away. Um, they well, Shorter trips, really, like yeah, two, much, three weeks. Much shorter trips. Nothing yeah. quite to the extent of what we're planning with this. But they had rooftop tents um, by Felden Shelter, whether you've heard of them or not. Um, they are very different to what we are doing with this. Yeah. The problem that we found with uh, rooftop tents is it's very kind of out in the elements. Whether it's pissing down with rain, you kind of have to still get outside, <laughs> put it up, you're soaked. You're triggering me from the South Island negative 8 degrees. We camped in it was negative freezing. 8 in the middle of Mount Cook and it was... It literally got to the point where we'd be like doing the tent in the morning and your fingers would just be I'm stopping frozen. halfway through so I can start feeling my hands again and then I'll yeah. finish backing it away. <laughs> so those are the kind of things we're trying to avoid. Yes. Obviously not quite to the extent in Australia <laughs> as New Zealand, um, but still you're out on the elements. Yeah. If it's raining, you're going to get wet putting it away. So we are actually going to be cutting the roof off this, doing a roof conversion, which we're super excited about. Um, and it will just make it a lot easier uh, and quicker to put it away, well, put it up and put it away. Yeah, 30 seconds versus like... Five, ten minutes. Yeah, depending on obviously mm. what's happening. So that's something that's going to be in the works. Andrew's going to talk you through how our configuration today is going to be changed, the fact that we do have the roof conversion, because yeah. living upstairs means... Makes a huge difference. Yeah, we've got more space downstairs for storage, which is very tricky in Defender. Yes. And so yeah, that's going to be a big component of the build, storage. I do want to get a storage box for the roof. We're having a huge debate. Mm. Do we get storage bags? You're saying, I don't want to see... Throwing a bag around the interior. I don't want to see a 110 litre bag. Obviously, the Defender is white at the moment. However, this may not be the case. It in, won't be the case. Yeah, in uh, two months or so. Uh, we are planning on changing the colour, which is super exciting. I'm pumped to see it. Yes, it's a very expensive change, so we want to make sure that when we change the colour, we're obsessed with it. Yes. At the moment, we're tossing up between a mint green, which is like a vintagey kind of green, or a baby blue. Yeah, I mean, I'm incredibly indecisive, so I'm not <laughs> going to find it easy. Very indecisive, um, yeah. But we are hoping that we make the right decision at the end. Because <laughs> we're stuck with it. <laughs> yes. Um, and yeah, I mean, hopefully the plan is that photographs amazing and it kind of it's a point of difference. Mm. Yeah, so definitely the colour change is something that we are tossing up with. Um, but the overall build configuration as well is definitely something that we've been kind of working on. I mean, if we look at the 
amount of notes. We've, we've done a lot of plans. This is the final-ish for right now. Um, but this, it will change, I'm sure. Again. It'll probably change depending on if we have the oven or not because the oven is something that is going to take up a lot of space. The web is also going to take up a lot of space. But we also need to think if we're on the road, food, what we eat is really important. Incredibly. Yeah, I mean, you're a massive foodie. You love <laughs> cooking. So I think we're trying to find a middle ground of what doesn't take up too much space in the truck. Yeah. Um, but also we can still, well, you can still create the nice meals. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can create meals. It's just, are they... They're not quite your caliber. Yeah, no. you stick to what you're good at. I'll, I'll barbecue, you at. can do everything else. <laughs> Welcome to the back of our Defender. And we were planning to live life on the road. There's a lot to do. The How it's set up is exactly how we bought it. So we yeah, strip it back to bare bones and then kind of start the whole thing from scratch. I'll run through what we're thinking it is at the moment. Look, now... It's probably going to change a lot along the way. It's a small space, so we kind of have to configure things very specifically. But I'll kind of explain where we're at at the moment. So with the whole fit out, we're still unsure if we're going to be doing it ourselves or if we're going to try partner with some local businesses and see what they could come up with and, you know, they help us build it out. We are based in Bondi, so there isn't really space for us to build this out at all as most of you probably know bondi is a very built up area you're lucky if you have any space outside your apartment let alone a driveway so i think that's probably the way we're going to go is working with someone um so yeah we're super excited to see how it turns out anyway so where i'm actually sitting right now is where we're planning our couch to be and that's basically going to butt up to the back of the driver's seat and then come almost up to the left rear passenger door and then we're hoping that there's going to be a little bit of storage under the seat. So with the fenders, there is a massive wheel arch in the way. So it kind of prevents a lot of space being under the couch. We're kind of hoping that we can actually bring the couch out a fair bit. So then we can have some storage kind of in this cavity right here. The thing with this couch as well, of what we're planning it to kind of be able to do is be pulled out to be a couch. <laughs> Pull out to be a couch. He means bed. <laughs> so we are having the roof conversion, which is super exciting. I can't wait to be able to sleep up here, which would be amazing. Um, but it does mean that, you know, as it is so high, if it is windy, then we kind of have to be cautious about almost the roof getting ripped off, which wouldn't be ideal for us. So in situations like that, we do want the couch to be able to be pulled out as like an emergency bed in a way. Um, it's not going to be big, but it just means that we don't have to be as cautious. On this side, we are planning on the whole kitchen setup to be. Nah, f*** that. I've got that. So right here is where we're planning our fridge to be. And then behind me is going to be a bench, basically roof height, which is going to be all of our food storage and hopefully have a few drawers in there too. When we do pop the roof, then the whole counter on top of that tall bench is completely accessible and we can use that as like a cutting station or whatever we need to. With the fridge situation, we are tossing up whether we go for a Dometic 55 litre or a 75 litre. Now, obviously with the 75 litre, internal storage is amazing. Uh, but the only problem is, as it is quite large and in a Defender it is pretty small, we do have to be conscious on how much space it's going to take up. So at this stage, we're probably leaning towards getting a 55 litre, slightly narrower, so it doesn't creep into the hallway. And then it's also a bit shorter, so then it means that we can have more storage um, in the taller bench. On top of the fridge is where we're gonna hopefully have a little pull-out desk. So either Max or myself, we can kind of work on there. And then in the tall bench behind me, uh, we're gonna have a little pull-out drawer where we can also work. So say we're set up in the desert or we're at the beach and we're just staying at a campsite for a good few days. It means that we can stay exactly where we are and we can just park up, both of us sitting on the couch, and we can just kind of work away with no dramas. I'll let Max run through what we're planning on a little addition or kind of, not even a little addition, it's a pretty important a part of this build. huge addition! <laughs> it's a pretty important part, so kind of work through where we're going to put that and how useful that's going to be.
So the reason why Andrew didn't touch on the kitchen setup is because that is definitely my strong suit and my forte. We have a saying in our house and it's if Moo can't cook it, no one else can. And so with the kitchen we want to make sure that it's versatile and functional and that it's a really easy setup so that we can cook good meals on the go. One of the things that we're currently tossing up at the moment is if the kitchen comes out of the back or if it comes out of the side here. Ideally we would have it come out of the back but there probably won't be the space element that we need for it to do that. So so we're considering having a kitchenette that pulls out the side here. Essentially the kitchenette here will have a little mini gas hob that lives in the inside of the element there. Um, we will have some little storage containers, like hopefully a drawer where we can have like our kitchen utensils um, and have everything secured nice and safely so that if we do do a little bit of off-roading nothing jumps around too crazily. We are tossing up at the moment it's a little bit of a debate in our house if we're going to get a Dometic gas oven. Sounds very bougie but I like I said love cooking so I really hope we can make it work. At the moment with the cooking setup though with the Defender you really have to make it work in terms of space. So if it fits and it fits safely it can come along with us so that's something that we definitely do have to toss up between. With the pull out kitchenette area we will have like a sink feature we are going to have our water potentially on the back side there so we will need to figure out if that's workable because we will need to be cleaning our dishes we also need to have a gray water tank or something that can store all the dirty water so that's another thing we're considering so yeah the kitchenette is definitely going to be something that will take some trying and testing out i really want to make sure that it's perfect and it's not an annoying kitchen area so we can cook the things that we love it's just about getting Andrew to play ball on the things that I want so essentially we've shown you what the build is planning to look like um, but we will probably be doing a lot of changes to the build as we progress, progress definitely. Um, it's gonna be a bit of a learning curve for us like Andrew mentioned we've only had Rangers in New Zealand they are a completely different car um, this is gonna be a bit of a challenge for us but we're really excited to get stuck into it and see mm. how things progress um, I think the biggest thing for me will be the kitchen, making sure that that works out well. And for you, you just kind of care about the rest of the, the Everything else, yeah. <laughs> and how that all comes together. We'll take you along for the ride and we'll, I mean, you'll probably learn as much as we do. So, see what happens. <laughs> yeah, come along for the ride with us.